So you're thinking about moving to Smyrna, Tennessee. Well, you're in luck because that's exactly what we're gonna cover in this video today. We're gonna to show you three different homes at three different price points in three different neighborhoods so that you can get a really good idea of the city of Smyrna and what might fit in your budget. And we're gonna get after it right now. Hey, if this is your first time to our channel and you want to know everything there is about living in Nashville or surrounding areas like Smyrna, then hit the subscribe button, tap the bell for notifications so you can be the first to know about the current market in Nashville. My name is Indro, my partner Tommy and I, we get calls and emails from people like you who are looking to make their move to Nashville and we absolutely love it. So whether you're moving in nine days or 90 days, just give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email. I'm happy to help you make a smooth move to Nashville. Yeah. So as Tommy said today, we are here in Smyrna, Tennessee. And in this video, like what Tommy said, is we're just gonna take you around the neighborhood. And actually we're also gonna create a pro and con video about Smyrna, Tennessee, just to dive a little bit deeper into what Smyrna has to offer and what might be, you know, a really positive thing for you or might be a con for you. Absolutely. So again, in this video, going to cover Smyrna, Tennessee in the sense of like showing you around Smyrna and, you know, just to give you a better feel about what it would be like just to live here. So what makes Smyrna really interesting? Well, first of all, um, you know, definitely looking at the affordability, it's definitely a whole lot cheaper compared to like if you, you know, want to be close to Nashville. Um, you know, second of all, it has a lower crime rate, um, very good school ratings. Um, it is only about a 25 to 30 minute drive towards downtown Nashville. So if you're looking, you know, to commute to Nashville, that's definitely doable, especially if you, you know, if you've got a job there. Yeah, absolutely. Lots to love about Smyrna, um, which is located in Rutherford County. As Indro said, you're about 30 minutes southeast of downtown. Population of roughly 60,000 people, between 55 to 60,000 people, and growing, right? Smyrna is a very desirable place to live in um, because there is lots of opportunity to get outdoors, walking trails, green spaces. There's a very low property tax here in Smyrna, um, and you have great access to Percy Priest Lake as well. So if you're somebody who likes to get out on the water and do those sorts of things, um, that is also available as an option here in Smyrna as well. Yeah, absolutely. And again, you know, we're definitely uh, recommend to check out our pro and con video where we're actually going to dive a whole lot deeper in what Smyrna has to offer, whether that might be a pro or con for you. But that being said, uh, let's go to our very first stop. And before that, we're just going to take you around this little area here which is considered the downtown area yeah it's not like a really downtown area but you're close to highway 41 which is practically where all the dining shopping area is so we're gonna just you know take you over there just to give you a better feel about what is considered at least the downtown area here of Smyrna before going to our very first stop let's go here we go
right guys, so we are almost at our first stop and just to give you a little bit of a full disclaimer here You might hear some noise in the background. Yeah, we're actually currently I guess updating the neighborhood with putting in some utilities I believe for the internet. Yeah, so there's a lot of construction going on right here So hopefully you can still hear us, but like I said, we are here at our first stop almost which is in the Cedar Hills subdivision yeah. um, It's a little bit of a more established neighborhood as you will see in the background a lot of ranch style homes one story homes so you know which is really nice if you're definitely you're you know you're opposed to like these newer subdivisions hoa communities then this is definitely a nice neighborhood tommy here is going to give us a little bit more inf information about the house right behind us yeah absolutely so this one here is listed right at 350. it was built in 1963. it's a three bedroom three bath around 1300 square feet and it sits on just a little less than a half acre lot. Um, so it was built in 1963, like Indra was saying, a definitely a more established neighborhood, which comes with beautiful, mature trees, nice, larger lots than, than you would find in like a, an HOA community, which we're gonna go to for our second stop. But so a lot to offer here in this community, but built in 1963, fully renovated with an updated kitchen and hardwood floors. And so they've done a really nice job when you walk in, it doesn't feel like 1963. So beautiful home in a beautiful established neighborhood, honestly, for a really great price. Mm -hmm. Coming in at 350, that's gonna be almost impossible to find the closer you get to Nashville. And so that's just one of the perks of being in Smyrna. You have just a short drive into Nashville, but you can still find some very affordable housing. Yeah, and you're actually like, this neighborhood is very close by to Highway 41 which is practically um, the road that leads all the way to downtown Nashville, as well all the way down south to Murfreesboro. And that's where all you know the shopping is, the restaurants is here in, in, um, in Smyrna, as well you're very close to the public library, there's a park around. So definitely, you know, you got a great location and definitely it's at a very affordable price point. Yeah. So we're gonna hop in the car, show you around the neighborhood uh, real quick so you can get an, a really good idea of the neighborhood that this house is in. Okay, here let's we go. go. second stop this home is located um, southwest Smyrna um, in a neighborhood called Carruthers Crossing very nice neighborhood the homes are beautiful you got really good views kind of all the way around lots of pretty streets with trees and rolling hills in the background this community is also very family friendly there's a pool there's a couple of different walking trails and even a park so 
really great community for raising a family and having opportunities to get outside and enjoy that beautiful spring and fall weather that we're coming up on here pretty soon. But we're gonna turn you around and let Indro tell you guys a little bit more about the house. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this one right here behind us is listed for $529,000. It has four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and it's around 2,700 square feet. It's on a 0.14 acre lot. And this is typically, of course, what we see in those newer HOA communities. You know, just the lots are a lot smaller, but hey, if you're somebody who doesn't care about, you know, the lot size and you do not like to maintain the lawn, well, definitely this might be a good option for you. Yeah. So indeed what Tommy was saying, um, for example, all these properties are, it's a fairly new community. So everything is really nicely updated inside. You got obviously your stained steel appliances, granite countertops, you know, absolutely really, really nice interior. Um, you know, the downside might be a little bit, of course, you're in an HOA community. So if you do not like that, um, if you would like to change something about the exterior of your property, you just got to make sure, of course, that it, it is HOA proof, as we would say. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, definitely really, really nice community. Like Tommy said, you got a playground, you got a pool, really beautiful way to just kind of like walk around the entire community, um, you know, on, a, on an evening, take out your bike take out the stroller with your kids. Yeah. It definitely doesn't get better than that. Sidewalks everywhere, yeah. So, all right, let's uh, jump in the car and just give you a little bit um, of a tour here in this neighborhood so you can get a better understanding what it would feel like to live in one of those newer HOA communities here in Smyrna before we're gonna go to our last stop. Here we go. <laughs> guys so we are almost at our last stop which is in the community Stonewood now the cool thing about this community it is a very very small community like if you look in the back we got a cul-de-sac and this is practically it we're almost even at the end of the road so it is a very very small community of course very quiet and it has actually no HOA so you know if you're a fan of not living in an HOA you don't want to have restrictions on your property then definitely this might be a good neighborhood for you yeah so we're just gonna turn our camera here and, and Tommy's gonna tell us a little bit more about this property right behind us. Absolutely, maybe if we come this way just a little so yeah. that tree isn't blocking the view too much. But So this home is listed at $720,000. It is a four bedroom, two and a half bath, about 3,300 square feet, sits on a little less than half an acre, built in 2009. It has granite countertops, hardwood floors, a four car garage, so plenty of space for you to grow or to get all of your teenagers their own vehicle or maybe you have dirt bikes or motorcycles or four-wheelers, whatever you have need of. There's a four-car garage. There's also a large bonus room in the house. Lots to offer here um, at this one. And like Indra was talking about, the community is incredibly small. You've got one street with a cul-de-sac. I would say probably less than 20 homes for sure. Yeah. Very small, family-friendly. Uh, this one's a winner. Lots to love about this one. Absolutely. And again, you know, 
that's what we're seeing here in Smyrna is you got a lot of opportunities, you know, whether you prefer to live in a more older established neighborhood, whether you prefer in a, like a brand new construction community or kind of like, you know, somewhere in the middle, you know, like having no HOA, but still have that community feel. There's so many opportunities here. Absolutely. All right. So this kind of like wraps it up about the full vlog tour about Smyrna. So hopefully you get a better understanding, you know, what it would feel like or actually, you know, to live here in Smyrna. It will give you a better feel, hopefully. And again, if you have any questions, comments, just drop them uh, right here below in the comment section. Until next time, and uh, we hope to see you around town. Bye-bye.